Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Nerd Chat here on Electro Ninja's Lab. I am here with my fellow hosts. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Joker. We actually have Joker this time. <laughs> Yay! But um, so I know that uh, that last time we did say that we were probably going to talk about Percy Jackson, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have the time we don't uh, there's a lot to talk about and jackie's a slacky boy yeah jackie's a slacky boy i was gonna try and be nice but yeah <laughs> so instead we're gonna talk about pokemon um specifically like again again yeah but specifically because we've never done that before ever yeah the, totally um specifically though i uh, um i want to talk about like what are our thoughts for what is next for pokemon because obviously at this point in time uh, Gen 9 is pretty much done. It's, uh, um, the main part of the, uh, like, everything to do with Scarlet and Violet. I don't think we're gonna have any more with that. Um, the, D uh, the DLC has come out. The, um, uh, the epilogue has come out. So there's really nothing else that they could probably do for, uh, for at least Paldea for now. Um, so most likely the next things are probably going to be either... Uh, uh, it's probably either going to be a Legends game slash a remake or a, um, just the next region. But I don't think that's what's next. So, let's hear what you guys think first. What, what are you guys' thoughts of what's going to be the next game for Pokemon? I, I, I'm, hoping I'm hoping for a Legends, for a Legends I'm game. Not I'm not picky about, about like, what, like, what Legends, Legends game, game, but a Legends but a game, game in the, in the true, true open, open world style of what, what we've got going, going with... Scarlet and Violet. Um, um, Scarlet and Violet, Violet is great. Okay. Uh, Jackie Bo uh, Joker Bar, what do you think? Honestly, Honestly I, don't I don't know, know but a um, um, Legends game sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Yeah, we need, we need another one. one. I think, honestly, no matter what they do, I think that they, uh, they need to do more Legends games. I think that Legends games are probably the most likely thing to happen. Um... Even uh, even if there is a remake beforehand, um, I'm thinking that it will probably if they are gonna do any more legends, uh, any remakes, they're probably just gonna do uh, um, give them to Ilka or whatever, which sucks. But at the same time, it would be like, I mean, what else are they gonna do? <laughs> um, uh, like uh, at this point in time, it sounds like they're more interested in doing um, legends games as well as just focusing on the main series games. So I think that um, even though Ilka did really bad with uh, um, Gen uh, with Gen Four, I think that they might I don't know they might do something with that. But another thing that is has kind of been on my mind lately is obviously Pokemon has been doing a lot of hinting towards it being Unifa, but they've also been hinting at it being Johto, which is weird to me. Um, like, they recently put out this image of, um, the red and, uh, gold fight, or Ethan, whatever his name is. And that just, like, it, it causes me to wonder if we are going to be going to, um, uh, we are going to actually be going back to Johto, which therefore means that we would also be doing Kanto again. I'm here for, I'm here for that, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I think my big thing, if they do decide to do another Legends game, is I want it to be a Legends Johto and Kanto game, but at the same time, I'm not exactly certain what that will entail, because, um, yeah. like, the thing is, I can't imagine them doing a Legends Kanto game, just straight Kanto, because there's really, yeah. there's not enough lore there. It was a small map. Yeah. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, there, uh, uh, we do have... Kanto, which I could, or Johto, I should say, which has a lot more lore. There's a lot more story behind the world uh, of Johto, um, which then also talks a little bit about Kanto. The, uh, it seems like the two regions have always had like some connection, with Johto just happening to be more specific. And also, they actually have a Pokemon that could bring you back in time with Celebi. So true. True. So, I don't know, they could do, know, they could really do something fun really fun Kanto, with a Johto Kanto remake. Yeah. And I think that they absolutely could do something with that. Um, 
And I also kind of would think it's not necessarily guaranteed, but I think it would be reasonable to uh, to think at least that we may get a um what's my doing a um uh, uh something about the four po uh, the four legendary Pokemon that are hidden in Paldea. If you get what I'm, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Because we know that those are not from uh, Kanto, um, or, or they're not. Uh, sorry, they're not from Paldea. They came from a eastern. Uh, uh, well, to their uh, to their case, they are from an eastern region. Exactly which region mm -hmm. that is, we don't know. And they've been sealed away for years. So I would almost, I would like, almost it like, like it if that was a hint the towards the next region, region they were gonna do. Yeah. Not not like a region, like a region somewhere else. It'd be really, It'd be really cool, cool if they were like, like boom, boom. Welcome to, welcome Germany, to Germany, Germany, bitches. East of Spain. East of Spain. Here's these, here's these fucking, fucking or like Russia or somewhere, somewhere yeah. crazy. My guess is that it would be China though, because of the fact that those yeah. are more yeah. Chinese those based. Are their names. Um, but at the same time, like the sword is what's really throwing me off because that's not a. That's more of a European sword. Well, like pretty much everything else. Yeah, but um, from, Japan from Japan to Europe, Europe is not east. east. That's, that's west. west. Unless, you Unless you go through the United States. States. Well, no, no, but Paldea is Spain, Spain, so east of Spain. Oh, east of Spain. Yeah. Yeah, Germany. Yeah, Germany. France. France. Yeah, pretty much anything it, it anything European happen. technically counts, but at the same time, it's like, huh? Uh, I don't know. Europe does uh, Europe doesn't make too much sense to me, especially because of the fact that they've been doing a lot of European um, regions lately. Like the past three regions have all been Europe. Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield is Europe. Yeah, it's that's uh, you, that's it's UK, UK, UK uh, Kalos, Kalos, and Galar. Kalos, Kalos is UK, UK, is France, and Galar is the UK. Yeah. So, and uh, I mean, granted, the first four regions were all um, in Japan, like J uh, Japan regions. Um, so I can kind of uh, so there's obviously all of that. Um. But uh, um, the fact that the past three regions have all been in Europe, I, I think we should uh, if we should probably move to a different place. I think like America would make sense as the next region, or China. But like not New York City, so it can't be because New York City already happened. Yeah. So so New York would be really cool. I would and I would think this is gonna be amazing. And it will never ever happen because they've already done a Lola. It'd be super cool to have like an LA where you have both the city center of LA, where it's very much like like almost like Lavincia, where it's very poppy. There's very much of those digital billboards. Maybe there's movie stars. Maybe there's a thing where you can you like have to act on stage for something. I don't know. Like they can do a whole LA Hollywood thing, and then also have. The beach. The, beach. the, other, half the other half of LA, which is you know the beaches, Redondo and and, and Malibu, Malibu and all of those places, not Malibu, not Malibu but, Redondo but Redondo Beach and, and um, the other like, the other, beaches, like beaches that are part of, are part of LA technically, but have a vastly different culture. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it would make that sense. Would, that would be dope. I'd play the fuck like out Like Southern California, that would be kind of insane. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of want, though, like, a, an area that feels like it could be a lot of different things is, like, one thing that I would really like to see. Um, it would be kind of neat to, like to do, like, a, a USA, USA non-specific. Non yeah. Like, um, there, uh, one of the big regions that people have been, uh, well, I think it's mostly Loxton has been talking about is Oregon. Like he he's working. That'd be kind of He's neat. making a um, fan game that is in Oregon. Um, oh, dude. oh, dude. So is it gonna? Is it gonna so that makes me want to get, 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 get one of those Anne uh, uh, emulators, emulators so much so more, so I can play fan mods, mods like that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know exact details with it because I haven't been following him too much um, about that whole situation there. Uh, but 
Yeah, I, I don't know if it's actually going to be a fan game or if it's just, like, these are some things that he thinks w uh, would be really cool. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of people who have done different fan regions in general. Um, like, there's Greek ones, there's Australian ones, there's all sorts of different ones. Um, personally, I would love to have a, co a completely different continent, but at the same time, I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. Yeah. So, you know what'd be really neat, and this is really stupid, but it'd be really fun. And I actually can see them doing some nonsense like this. Have an Arctic region. That would be interesting. Like I don't know, I don't know Antarctica or the Northern Arctic, but either way, either way, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they would do that. We're like the game, the game, and it would have to be a legends game. Yeah. What's really weird about it though? Like in my brain, it would have to be a legends game because you have to be like the head backstory would have to be like you're an explorer from insert region here. And, and you're, you're going, going on an expedition to, to discover, discover this, this new region. Da 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 da, 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 da. Yeah. I, I think the big reason why they won't... Uh, I don't think that they will ever, like, do a Sahara or a, um, a, a Arctic region is because that just... That limits their options a lot. Because... It does. It does. <clears throat> Which is why it would have to be a Legends game. Yeah. Where... where, where it and it, it would have to be, like... like a legends, a legends game, game based, based on, on not just, not like, just like the Arctic, the Arctic circle, circle, but like the northern, the northern, the northern, northern tip, tip of the northern hemisphere. You know what I mean? So like, you start off, you start in, off in a town in, in say, say northern, northern Canada, Canada or like northern somewhere, northern somewhere that's, actually that's actually populated. Yeah. And, and your, your job is to from that base to then explore, explore into, into the various places. So you do you get things like. Places that, places that have, have they don't have snow, snow but they have permafrost, they have permafrost they so they still have a lot of plant life, life they have a lot of animal life and a lot of dirt, dirt but it's cold and then you have, then you have the the actual, the actual like, like frozen, frozen wasteland, wasteland and then you would have like a cold, a cold coastline, coastline and then you would, and then you would go another, another direction, direction and have um like a snowy, a snowy forest, forest kind of situation so you still have that variety without taking away from the idea that you're going on an expedition into a new undiscovered place and I think you know what they could do is either do Alaska because that's farthest north that is that is populated, or you do yeah. And Alaska Russia, has like a lot of different places anyway, so it would make sense if they yeah if they did do that. An Alaska one would be super cool. I think that'd be neat. Yeah. So, I do like the concept of having you just having you go somewhere that no one has really ever been. Yeah, or it's very limited how much people but, have been there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What was I doing? Was I doing? There, there's a lot of things that I think that they could do. And I think that... I think Pokemon is scared to experiment a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, can't, uh, we can't make our... Uh, we can't do experimentations because people know our basic version of the game. So, right. Right. as such, they can really only uh, do a lot of these things as, like, spin-off games or... Um, uh, remakes and stuff like that but the main series game can never really be that and i don't know like uh, so let's see here so this year we're probably going to be getting a um either a remake or a legends game um they haven't confirmed either uh either one yet um my guess is that it's either going to be unova or johto and then next year is uh, probably going to be the Gen 10, but at the same time, I kind of want them to wait on Gen 10. Like, I think... Same. I kind of... And I think, they and I think they're going to wait on Gen 10 until at least 2025. Yeah. I, uh, my big thing, uh, think, uh, the main reason that I'm thinking they should wait on Gen 10 is because of the fact that, obviously, the 30th anniversary is the 26, uh, is 2026. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if they uh, imagine if they decided to release Gen 10 on the uh, 30th anniversary, and it is 10 times the number of Pokemon, could you imagine that? I, like, I don't think that's gonna happen. You want a hundred thousand Pokemon? Well, uh, yeah, no, yeah no. well, it would be uh, no, it wouldn't be well, not 
Yeah, so it would be 1,500. No, I think I would rather set myself on fire. No. It would be 1,500. Because right now we're at 1,000. They just need 500 more Pokemon, and they would have 10 times the Pokemon. Ten times the original line. line. Okay. okay. I was like, ten, ten times, times a thousand? thousand? Bitch, are you fucking insane? insane? Okay. okay, ten times 150 is way more reasonable. Yeah, okay. like I said, okay. it's only like yeah. 500 more Pokemon, which sounds insane, but if you... No, 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 no. no. Compared, Compared to me thinking you wanted a hundred thousand total mons... Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. No, I don't want... 500 is great. <laughs> I don't want... Uh, I don't want them to just go from... A thousand to a hundred thousand. That would be insane. But we're close. I guess, I guess that's why I was like, uh, are you good, bro? Do you need help? <laughs> no, ten times the original number Pokemon. Um, so uh, the exact number would literally be 1,510 Pokemon. And every single one of them would be in this game. That seems like, that a, seems like a really big ass. It really but would. But I can see them trying to go, do something similar, if not that, because of it's the 30th anniversary. Yeah. Like, and that's one of the big things. That's why I'm like, what if they did that? So in uh, so basically, instead of us getting um, just one Legends game in uh, uh, so at this point in time, our best guess as to what's probably uh, my best guess as to what's probably going to happen is. We're going to get a, re, uh, an Ilka remake, which is going to suck, and pretty much most of us are just going to be like, eh, we, we can ignore that. And then the next game is going to be Legends. But what if instead, uh, and basically those would basically re uh, release right around the same time about the end of the year. Um, maybe like the Legends game in, uh, or the remake in, I don't know, freaking September? And then the Legends game in November, maybe? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. so maybe that uh, that could possibly happen, um, based off of what happened with the, previ uh, with the previous Legends game. But yeah, then, yeah, in 2025, true. they do the exact same thing. They bring us a Legends game. Because technically, they have been hinting at both Unova and Johto recently. That's true. That's true. Like so, uh, there's so much hinting towards Unova and Johto, Unova and Johto, and it's just like this feels like there's something here. Um, like my guess as to what they're gonna do is Johto game next because of the fact that, um, the way that uh, they seem to basically be following their previous method. So we got Kanto, Johto, Hoenn. Remake one, uh, remake Kanto. Sino remake Johto. Um, Unova don't remake anything. Kalos remake um, Hoenn. Then, uh, we get the uh, we get Alola, and they remake um, uh, they remake Kanto again. Uh, after that, we had, um, uh, uh, obviously there was Galar, and they remade Sinnoh. And then, now we have Paldea, yeah. so they could remake Unova for sure, but they could also remake Johto, and that would, that would be in the line that they've been doing. Or they, that would be in the loop that they've been doing. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um... And then on top of that, like, if you think about, uh, so we've gotten rumors and stuff about the, um, the next, uh, the next console with Nintendo Switch 2. True. True. So I'm kind of thinking, like, what if the first game that they, uh, that, um, Pokemon does for the, uh, uh, like, the main series that they do is the next, uh, generation? That would be insane. Which, uh, granted, we we know very little at this point. It's basically just rumors and speculation, um, and a few leaks. Um, so the question becomes: If that, uh, my guess at this point is maybe twenty twenty six is the year that they release 
the uh, the Nintendo Switch 2, which would again mean why not just bring uh, wait on Pokemon to do um the uh, to do Gen Man. 10 Man. on that uh, on that system. Okay, okay, first of all, the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming before 2026. It's coming out. It's coming out this year. When yeah. when have yeah. they said that? They would have announced it by now. A they, while ago. A while ago. They have, a while they ago. haven't announced it, though. This year. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Where? Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. I've, uh, I follow Nintendo. They would be talking about this like crazy by now if it, if it was coming out this year. Like, I follow pretty much every official Nintendo thing. Well, and no. It... Well, no. Sorry, no, Sorry, 2025. no, 2025. Is it? Is what? Not 2024. Not 2024. I read 2025. I read. I read. I read a leak that was like, "Oh, ho, ho, we're getting it in September of this year," and I was like, "No, the fuck, we're not." Hang on, let me look. Yeah, honestly, like, uh, it, at this point in time, there's only been leaks. I haven't seen a single thing from Nintendo themselves that has specifically said, "Hey, here's the, uh, we're we're working on the next console," and I do follow them, so it's like. Like, if it is 2025, then I guess that makes some sense to have Gen 10 there. But at the same time, it feels like they could wait. But, like, I th I feel like if they had the Nintendo Switch 2 and it was near, uh, and it was that close to release, they'd be doing more, uh, more publicity about it. Even if it was in 2025. So, there's that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like, it looks Nintendo, like has Nintendo, Nintendo has said they're working on something, something but, but not said what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. They. Uh, they. Uh, here's the thing. Um. I would say that if it's even uh, if they plan on releasing it in 2025, they are announcing the freaking thing this year at like one of the Nintendo uh, at um probably the next Nintendo Direct. Probably, probably. Okay, so, okay, so most most rumors, rumors and, and hipsters say fall say fall twenty twenty four. That may be wrong, but, but that's, that's, that's the, rumor. the rumor. Yeah, there's no way uh, if there's if it no was way, there's no way Nintendo, Nintendo would have said something. Like yeah, that. if it was twenty twenty four, they would have yeah, said something. Like, like if it's twenty twenty five, and that's a big if. If it is twenty twenty five. They would be announcing it like yesterday. It would have already even even twenty twenty five would have been announced already. Twenty twenty six, the fact that it hasn't even been announced yet, I see it twenty twenty six. No, I disagree. No, I, disagree. I, disagree. I see twenty twenty five. I mean, it's definitely a possibility. Um, like if uh, if they do a direct and the next. Uh, uh, like within the next few weeks or something, then uh, and then with that direct, they announce the fact that hey, we're doing a Nintendo Switch too. Then I would say okay, then it's releasing this uh, in 2025. Which they still which could. they still could. they could they absolutely could they haven't done anything. Uh, um, uh, uh, usually, uh, I'm assuming that the next Nintendo Direct is probably gonna be m March. I want to say that that's my guess as to w uh, when the next one is um and then with March uh, coming out uh, and then with that Nintendo Direct they're like uh, they go crazy they start saying we're doing a big announcement this Nintendo Direct here uh, here's all this stuff and they go that ham then I will accept that it's 2025 until it's that uh, until it's like We've got a huge announcement. This Nintendo Direct. Tune in. Then I will uh, admit. Uh, um, the next year after that happens, that will be the release of the tw uh, of the Nintendo Switch. But it's not releasing this year. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, There's no. no fucking way that they would be uh, that they would do that. <laughs> that it would be this early, because yeah. 
I mean, granted, I think like 2024 is the year that it would technically be that, but no, no, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, and pretty much everything that we've been seeing has just been leaks and leaks, leaks are kind of a, uh, uh, catch and yeah, sometimes they're accurate. Most of the time they're not, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and that's, an, uh, that's another thing. Um, whatever the next Nintendo Direct is going to be, we're probably going to either get a announcement of a Pokemon Direct or we're going to be getting an announcement of the next region, uh, the next Pokemon game in general. What exactly yeah. that's going to yeah. be, I don't know. My guess is, uh, like I said, Legends, uh, uh, well, Legends Unova or Legends Johto, probably Johto, um, and then Unova will, have, uh, will happen next. The other option is, like I said, 2024, we get, um, uh, uh, we get, uh, Legends Johto, Le uh, 2025, we get Legends Unova, and then 2026, we get the, uh, the next main ser uh, we get Gen 10. And the other reason- It will, it will all depend on when the Switch 2 comes It out. really does. And I think, like, another thing with that as well, with the, um, um, uh, with Gen 10, is I can't imagine them wanting to do a 30th anniversary and it's just DLC. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, no. Because if uh, if we get Gen 10 in 2025, <laughs> the I next would thing would be DLC. So, I don't know. I, 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 would, I, I would almost guarantee that Gen 10 is going to be held off until the 30th anniversary. Yeah. Because, because, I mean, I mean that they would be, be they would be absolutely bonkers to not do to that. Not do yeah, that. and that's like the... Like, if they, like didn't, if they didn't do that, do that people might legitimately try to take over Nintendo with, with weapons. weapons. <laughs> like, probably <laughs> Nerf guns, but they'd still try. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, it's a possibility. I don't think... There would just be a horde of 30-something white nerds as the just busting down the doors of... Game Freak, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you gave us DLC for the freaking... <laughs> yeah, they'd all just be over there, Naruto running towards the door, ready to slam and make eye contact with everyone inside so they can justify a fight. Like, they would go ham. Yeah. And, 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 and Game Freak knows this. Yeah. Like, it, they, are they are not idiots. Yeah. I, well, that's a strong sentiment, yeah. perhaps. But they are not that stupid. Yeah. So, like I said... Uh, I think, like I said, the, the thing that makes the most sense to me is two Legends games basically back-to-back -back because everyone, uh, because they've been hinting at Unova. They've been hinting at Johto like crazy. Um, so I think that... Um, my, I think, I think I'm and I'm going to make this formal prediction now, now all right? The on the day this premieres, it'll be Jan uh, February 4th. 4th? It should be. 2024. February 4th, 2024. My name is My name Jack, is Jack and, and I am making this prediction. What I'm going to say is the next Pokemon, the next Pokemon game, game to come out is going to be a Legends. I don't know whether it's going to be Legends. Uh, uh, what, 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 what region is going to be Legends, but it's like sounding Johto. like Johto. But it's going to be Legends. And then the game, then the game that comes out after that is going to be a remake. And I can't decide if they're going to remake Black and White or if they're going to make a Black and White 3 that's a combination of 1 and 2 but remade. Don't really care, but I think Legends and then a remake. We're not getting two Legends, we're not getting two remakes, we're getting a Legends and then a remake. Fair enough. And that's just the next two. So if we do end up getting like an Arceus, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl kind of situation, then I don't know what's next. Yeah. But the next two games are going to be a Legends and a remake. Fair enough. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting to think about, like, what could be the next, uh, like, Whatever they do, I think that they are going to do something JoJo, and I think that they're going to do something with Unova. What exactly that's going to be, I don't know. Um, but I think that those would be the mo uh, those would be the most reasonable things that they would put in 2024 and 2025. Um, one thing for JoJo, one thing for Unova. Maybe both getting remakes and both getting Legends if they do the whole um, 
Ilka and uh, Il Ilka does the remake. Legends uh, or Game Freak itself does the Legends game, which would make sense. Um, yeah, yeah. So those would be the uh, those are going to be the main things, and then um, uh, and then the in twenty twenty six twenty twenty six. Let's uh, let's all put it in our calendar. We are getting uh freaking uh Gen Ten. Um, yes. What yes. exactly that means? Who knows? Personally, I would absolutely fucking love it if it was. We have we officially have ten times the number of Pokemon that there were in the very beginning of the uh, of this series. We have one thousand five hundred and ten different Pokemon for Gen Ten. That would be insane, but at the same time, it would be fucking incredible. Agreed. Agreed. What do you think, Joker? <laughs> oh, we're just, oh, we're just not the <laughs> That's all you gotta say? Well, I've never, well, hated, I've never a hated a sentence more in my life. life. Can you have less, 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 of, less of an opinion? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, we're not going to get any Pokemon, Pokemon games for the next 25 years. years. More of an opinion than I will have to wait and see. <laughs> it's not a good it's opinion, good opinion and I don't like it. Yeah. It's more of an opinion than that was. While we're talking about it, can we talk about the pure absurdity that people are saying that um, Pal World is going to take down Pokemon? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so yeah, stupid. That did Pal World almost directly copy some Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah. Yes. Is Pal World, World going to take over the world? The world? No. no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like for one thing, Pokemon it is way more big. mature, so it's not going to be something that a lot of kids are going to be playing. Like maybe some kids will play it, but it's gonna uh, it's way less than like Pokemon, friendly Pokemon. Let's just be honest. So, yeah. Did I lose you guys? No, I'm here. No, I'm okay, here. Cool. Nope. But yeah, I, I I just think it's so funny. There's always a freaking game that is just like, uh, uh, every now and again we just get those games that people are like, this is gonna be the t uh, the thing that takes down Pokemon, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> like it could. It wasn't last, it wasn't time, last time, and it is not it's this. It's that meme, meme of Have you seen that meme, meme of Sheen from uh, from uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Neutron, Neutron where he's like, like, this is a game that's gonna replace Pokemon. And the teacher's like, Sheen, this is the third time you brought in a, a game that's gonna take down Pokemon and none of them ever have. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think they do that every time that someone comes out with one of those. Like, sure, uh, like, Digimon? Who thinks of Digimon nowadays? Um, eh, no one. I think a few people do. Um, same thing goes for Yokai Watch. Like, I've not thought about that since. Uh, oh man, Yokai oh, Watch was a thing. Wasn't yeah. It? Um. Huh? Not a good Not a good <laughs> Like Digimon, at least, like at the at the time it existed, there was there's some key differences between Pokemon and Digimon that I really appreciate, and that has to do with original sprites and colorways, yeah. and the ways that they combine colors, and that's really kind of neat to know. Like, oh, that's cool. Digimon saw Pokemon and said, I think we can do that, but different, and actually did something different. Yeah. While still, still remaining in the same grain, whereas like I think Power World right now, Power World is playing with fire with some of them, well some of their monsters. Yeah, because some of them are like they are some of them are like, they are, some of them are like exact dupes, and it's just it's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's kind of like it's kind of it's kind of like looking Disney dead in the eyes and then drawing a rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, okay, I thought, like you're not, like you're not really technically infringing, infringing on anything because it's because not a mouse. It's not a mouse. <laughs> but also, but everyone, also knows everyone knows what you're trying to do. Yeah, exactly. I just yeah, I saw this video yeah, yesterday about, about it, like, and they're like comparing like, comparing, like, like different Pokemon. Pokemon. It's like they get to they one that's an Egyptian cat. I'm like, oh, we don't have like Pokemon's like, oh, we don't have an Egyptian cat. I'm like, yeah, you do. It's called Mew. And Persian. There are so many. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm like, you idiots. There is one. Yeah, and I, I think it's uh, part of the reason why people are, uh, are uh, some people are like, yeah, it's perfectly fine, blah, 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 blah. It's more of just a, um, these people, uh, uh 
Pokemon somehow has managed to make different Pokemon uh, each time. And each Pokemon really does feel different. Like, there's not real. Uh, there's very few Pokemon that I would uh, that I look at them and say, "Oh, this looks like this other Pokemon." But but one of the cool things, one of the cool things about it is you can, you say, can say that looks that like looks a like a Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. And you have, there, and you have, there are some that, that you that, that, that people struggle with where they're like, with, that, they're like does that does not look like, look a, like Pokemon. a Pokemon. Yeah. And Which is kind of interesting. Kind of meanwhile, interesting Pal World is just like got all of these uh, pals or whatever monsters, whatever they are, and it's just like, yeah, no, I can totally see that you. Uh, uh, it looks like, hey, can I copy your homework? Okay, just make sure it looks different. Just make sure you get just make sure you get a few answers, 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 wrong. answers wrong. Like yeah, <laughs> you it, just make sure you change your uh, change a few of your answers. Okay, here oh. it is, and it's just like literally. literally. Okay, I know. I mean, I know, I know, like Power World has a, some pretty significant differences to Pokemon, and that's that's important to remember. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, also, yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't really want to trash talk the game because I've I haven't played it. I've mostly just been seeing it f through clips and stuff. It can be. It can be a good game, game while also everyone knows what you're trying. To yeah, do. and it's like. It doesn't make it, it, doesn't a, make bad it a bad game, game if you're trying to dupe something. Yeah. What makes it a bad what game, it a bad game is, is if you sit there and, there and you're like, no, we didn't, we didn't even like know what Pokemon was. Like, we never heard of Pokemon. Bitch, okay, bitch, you use the same color, color scheme for this monster, this monster and you change up its fur in two different ways. Go yeah. away. Like, we all know that's Cobalion. You are completely copying the Cobalion. The Cobalion one is like the big one, I think. Yeah, no, that's the one I was thinking of. And it's just like, that looks exactly like Cobalion. Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> sure, it has two horns, but that's... I I don't know. That's not the point. That's not the point. Yeah. And I don't know. And uh, another thing to think about with that is, like, I've compared Nino Kuni 1 to uh, Pokemon in the past, but one thing that I think is important about that is that it feels very fucking different! <laughs> like, I don't know. Pokemon, uh, like... Uh, I, I, like I said, I've compared the two, but at the same time, it's not like, it's not like Pal World. Pal World literally feels like they are copying their homework. And it's the same fucking thing with, um, a recent game. Um, I, uh, I, I know you guys didn't watch the, uh, recent, uh, State of Play. Um, because I, I told you guys don't, uh, that it was pretty bad. Um, but there was a game yeah. Yeah. near the beginning that my first thought was this looks like near automata and i think i specifically said that it looks exactly like near automata it's basically it, they literally did the exact same thing as pal world is doing and i didn't really compare i didn't compare the two when i was making when i was doing my live stream but at the same time it's literally just like hey can i copy your homework sure just make it look different or whatever and it's just like i don't know it it's it's concerning to say uh, to say the least that uh, I mean at the same time you're go uh, people are gonna gravitate towards certain things and they're going to um, every now uh, there's technically no way to be completely original at this point in time but somehow people have managed to do things that feel new and like Pokemon is one of the big examples because they. They feel different. Every single region feels slightly different. It doesn't feel like the same Pokemon. I don't know. A little bit ranty of a nerd chat this time, especially towards... Pal World is weird. I don't understand why the heck they did that. And it kind of came out of the blue, which is just... And a lot of people are like, this is amazing, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like... You are enslaving your po uh, your pals to make them do shit. That that that's concerning. A good thing. A good thing. Yeah. Though that though that self apart is that is that it always keeps on advancing and and improving their game. Pokemon, yeah. Or other games don't do that that much. Yeah. 
And it's one of the reasons why we, uh, we continue to come back to Pokemon. It's not necessarily, uh, like, some people will say, oh, some of the most recent games have been shit. And honestly, I don't see that. Like, there have been problems, for sure. But that's something that's going to happen when you come across a, a, a long-running series. But at the same time, they have continued to improve. Um, and granted, like, e uh, even we, all three of us, have had times where we've all fallen off. Alola. But, <laughs> true, true. like, we all fell off at Alola. We all know it. <laughs> or did you, Joker? Honestly, the only, honestly, the only games, that, games I played, that I have played of Pokemon, of Pokemon I did, I did uh, uh, Diamond, and Diamond and Pearl, Gold Heart, Gold Heart and, and legends, legends and and um, um Carla and Byron. Okay. Those, really those were the only games. games but I you played. have sword, right? Oh, and sword. Oh, and sword. Oh. Partly because, Partly because I, I got that one for free. So. Yeah. So. To be fair, you didn't really have Nintendo systems. That uh, or that yeah, as well, I had a DS. You had a DS, but, but the Pokemon games were always. Expensive. Yeah, Pokemon is weird. Pokemon is almost always expensive. So. Yeah, I, I understand why uh, why you wouldn't have gotten into it. But, like, another thing as well is, like, depending on uh, where and when you grew up uh, or who uh, who your family is can often determine whether or not you play Pokemon. Um, especially the early... Uh, especially the early games. Um, like, I didn't play Black and White, um, and that was primarily because I'd kind of fallen off of Pokemon at the time. Um... I played, I played, like, like five minutes. Did I ever, minutes did I ever tell you the story of how I, of how I got Pokemon? into Pokemon? I don't think so. So, so in one sentence, in one sentence um, I got, um, I got Pokemon, Pokemon from God. Oh, did you get it at a church or something? <laughs> yeah. I yeah, think you so might have told me like, this story once. I don't think it's been recorded ever, but yes, please tell okay, us. You know, okay, you know what's really funny? I was in fourth grade. 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 And we were, and we were going, going on, on our first trip, trip to, to the youth room, youth room where we would be. So, our, church so massive, our church was right? massive, right? It was one of those big, one southern, of those big churches. southern churches. Yeah. And, um, and um, so one of the things, so about, one of the things about that is we had what's called an annex. That's how, big the, That's how big the fucking church was, right? There was an annex. There was an annex. So, so we were on our, we were on our first trip over to the, over to the annex the where the youth and, and middle, middle schoolers did their Sunday, did their morning, Sunday morning stuff. Um, for, you know, to, for, you know, to, to, see, to, like, to oh, see, like, oh, this is where you guys are going to be as soon as school starts. Job. Great job, guys. And, um, and um, so, I was like so I was, like, ending fourth grade, fourth grade coming into fifth grade, and we're walking through the grass, and there was this, like, red, and I saw it. I was like, oh, that's a Game Boy cartridge. And, and I picked it up. It had no label. It had, no label. It had, it had been sitting there. We weren't sure if it was going to work or anything. Like, we didn't do it. But I picked it up and I put it in my pocket because I thought, cool, if it works, free Game Boy cartridge. And if it doesn't, big deal, right? <laughs> and, um, like, that was literally my thought process. And so I showed, I brought it home and I showed my dad. And he said, okay, well, let's see if it works. And I'm going to play it a little bit. And if it seems okay, then, yeah, you can play it. And I was like, great. So he pops it, so in, he my pops it in my Game Boy, and what do you know, what do you know lo and behold, Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby, Ruby opens up on the screen, and, and my dad, my dad plays, it plays it a little bit, and, a little bit, and, and he, he says, yeah, this, this seems perfectly, perfectly fine, to fine to me, it's totally fine, totally fine. and um, so, um, I was playing, so I was playing it, and I played it, and, and, had, I played it and had a lot of fun, and basically spent most of my time, most of my time getting lost in caves, because that's Pokemon Ruby in a nutshell, and yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't actually, and it wasn't until, actually after until after I got this game that, that I, I, so, I got so I got this game, and then, and then I promptly only had, only had this Pokemon, Pokemon game until, until I want to say, which came first, which came first, black, black and white or diamond and pearl? Diamond and pearl. Diamond and pearl. Diamond and pearl. Okay. okay. So until so diamond, until diamond uh, I pretty much uh, just, pretty had, much just Ruby. had Ruby. Okay. I was in there playing, Ruby. Was in there playing Ruby. Ruby. Well, then I got my dad. Can, my dad decided that he needed. I needed a DS instead of a Game Boy Advance SP because a DS had a headphone jack, and he was tired of hearing me play my video games. No joke. No joke. No joke. That's why he bought me a DS, is so he didn't have to hear me play my games. Um, while he played his. Yeah, that was the key there. Um, 
And so, and so, or like on car rides anyway, and so stuff. So anyway, so he got me a DS, and I got, and I got Diamond. Diamond. And I played that. And one I played that fun. one. It was super fun. And then, and I then remember I, I remember I got black and white. On, on my brand new, new state of the art, pre ordered and delivered on the day it came out, out DSI. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God Almighty. Yeah. It was all okay, white, and I remember I took a strip of black and white checkered duct tape that I cut in half so it wasn't super wide, and I put that along the back so I knew it was mine. Nice. It was great. That's fun. It was great. Okay, you want to hear my, how I got into Pokemon? Yes. yes. Okay, so... Okay, so... Uh, we were at a wedding. Um, um, one of my cousin's wedding. And I was at a temple, and so we couldn't go in... Um, um, because we were young, because we were young, and so we were walking, around, so we were walking the around the grounds with all my other cousins, and and they find, they find uh, a gold heart, gold heart, heart uh, in, the yeah. uh, in the grass, yeah, heart gold, yeah, heart gold, gold. mean heart gold, grass, at the temple. That's fun. What the heck? That is so funny. You guys are uh, you guys are all uh, out here like, yeah, we found him in the grass near our, uh, our churches. Meanwhile, me. Yeah, I was given uh, pretty much all of my first games. <laughs> like, my parents were just like, yeah, Pokemon. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was, yeah, so it was down, down, and I popped it into, into, uh, popped it into my popped DS, it into my because, DS because, of course, I had my DS at the time. DS at the time. And and because of long card tricks from Nevada to Utah, to, Utah to go visit cousins. Visit cousins. And, so that's how and so that's how I got that, that game. game. And I played it. And I, I played it. I never actually finished, finished that one. He said did though. He Ethan took, took it. Ethan took it and he finished, finished it. it. Was black. Hmm. Yeah. So first one, I think the whole story has been Scarlet or not Scarlet Violet. Except for the epilogue. I still need to do the epilogue. So, I think I watched Pokemon first, because um, my parents had gotten the VHSs for, like, a few of them. Uh-huh. And so I would watch, the. those were, like, some of the shows that I would just be like, yeah, let me just pop this into the VHS. And it's insane to me to think that I am able to, uh, that I was, I knew how to put a VHS and Be Kind Rewind so young, <laughs> because I would be like, I want to watch this. Honestly, Honestly, I think we all know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So obviously, um, I uh, I got those. Um, I think like part of the reason was because my cousin actually had played Pokemon already, and uh, so she had uh, uh, both the original yellow and the original gold, which I now have on my Game Boy Color because I also have a Game Boy Color. Um, <laughs> so. She had uh, she had played those, and then I got uh, I I think I actually got Pearl first, and I think I've completed that. Um, but I think that Soul Silver was the first game that I finished, um, and I wanted that for a while because I'd been watching Pokemon like crazy, and that was like that was the game I wanted this game because it was uh, it was the new Pokemon game I had heard about it, and I was like I want this game, and it had the little Pokewalker, so it was like my parents were like yes go, and then. That was the first game that I got, and it was also the game that I got my first shiny that I can't fucking find again <laughs> because I deleted the freaking save because I wanted uh, because when I found out about shinies and actually learned about understood oh that's what a shiny is and fully understood I was like you know I want a shiny uh, I want to um I want to restart this game with a shiny Cyndaquil so I deleted my game. Yeah. And then I realized, like, a few years, uh, like, a little while later, after I'd, like, tried doing the whole, um, starting the game, re- uh, not getting the shiny, and restarting it, I did that a few times, and then I was like, wait, I deleted my first random shiny with Psyduck. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was just like, fuck! And, and, like, I think this was by the time that I had gotten um, my 3DS and all of my uh, and I had been playing the other uh, the like um I had played X and Y I think that maybe even Alola was I don't think Alola was out yet no I don't think it was out yet but I realized it uh, uh, a little while later and I was like shit I deleted my Psyduck <laughs> he's gone and like 
to be fair with that, I will probably never get another, um, uh, um, I will probably play that again at some point, but at the same time, it's like, I can't transfer it up, uh, any of those Pokemon, up to my current games because I can't get Pokemon Bank. Right, right. Which, that's so annoying that it's like, it's nearly impossible now to bring any of your Pokemon from earlier games into the current systems. So, like, if you if you happen to get a shiny really when you were way younger, if you didn't get Pokemon Bank, that's just your cutoff. You can't get any. Uh, you can't bring anything into 3DS territory. Because th there are ways that you can find like the DS stuff and the uh, Game Boy stuff, but at the same time, you're you're pretty much it's impossible to get any of those now. Um, if you get yeah. a uh, you can yeah. get a Game Boy, and then. Um, like that one Pokemon Bank uh, type thing for um, uh, the Game Boy Advance, I think, and then you can get some of those things. But it's still like, it's a challenge if you want to get like anything from before. Uh, it's a challenge already to get anything from like, um, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color and um, Game Boy Advanced. But it's even harder now to get like anything from like the um, uh, from the DS to uh, to the 3DS and. From the three uh, and you can't uh, and without Pokemon Bank you can't get the three uh, you can't do the three DS to, um. Uh, uh, to uh, to the Switch, and unfortunately it's just gone. Um, hope I'm hoping at this point that Home will just stick around forever, um, and then like future kids won't have to worry about it. Um, but who knows? Agreed. That would be super handy. Just have home be the main thing and just like update it to the next uh, to each system as it goes because it's it's a good system. Like you think about it, it's like, and they've continued to update it for each uh, for each game that has been on the Switch. Making a new uh, system just sounds like it would be stupid at this point in time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking I'm of, I'm speaking reading. of which, I'm now curious. I know that Pokemon, uh, that, um, the early games are on the, uh, you can put them onto the, uh, onto your, um, Switch. I wonder what, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what games you can get, uh, wh uh, how many generations they've done on that. Pokemon. Let's see here. So, let's see here. Uh, Pokemon, 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 the regular games, regular games... There's shield. Um, I am not seeing anything at this point in time of like the early games. Like I don't see uh, I don't see any of the. Um, maybe I have to search for the other games. Let's see here. Uh, let's try red. Red, nope. I don't know why it's not pop. Uh, I don't know. There's pro uh, there's probably some way to get it. I'm just forgetting. Uh, or it might be. Is it on the freaking um. Uh. The whatchamadoodle things. I think it might be on the. Whoops, what's on the good things? The um. Special Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance things. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. Not sure. Not sure. I think it might be. Um, here, let's take a look here. Let's just look at Game Boy really quick because you can get like the uh, the entire freaking games on there. Um, oh wait! Oh wait! I've also played, played Pokemon, Red. Pokemon Red. I forgot I did that. I yeah, I'm not seeing I that. I just got the uh, uh, MMO, MMO uh, downloader, downloader that you can do on your, on your, uh, on your phone. On your phone. Nice. nice. That's cool. But I forgot about, but I forgot that. about that. Yeah. Here, I'm just gonna download the um, Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy. <laughs> you can get on your Switch, and then at some point I'll play those. 
you can do that. You can do that. Hold, 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 hold everything. Run that by me one so more time. So if you time. go, to, uh, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you can um, you can get free uh, packs of the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance. There's also um, yeah. the yeah. NES, you the uh, Super NES. But are they Pokemon, are they Pokemon games? games? They're not uh, specific. No They're Pokemon. not specifically Pokemon games. They have like everything. But do they have? But do Pokemon they have Pokemon? Games? That's what I'm trying to check. Oh, okay. Oh, I, don't okay. Do. I don't think they. Do. I don't think so either. I'm checking the Game Boy say, right I now. I was gonna say I didn't think they did. I'm checking Game Boy right now. Sadly, they. Sadly, they. Sadly, they I don't think. They I don't do. think they do either. But if if they do, fantastic. Uh, yeah, Pokemon yeah, TCG doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing it. Honestly though, honestly though, after playing Violet, could you honestly go back to playing a Game Boy, a Game Boy version, of version of Pokemon? Yes, yes, I could. That would be difficult, but yeah. I uh, I absolutely could. <laughs> um, I mean, granted, it's a little uh, um, Sword is a little bit weird, but at the same time, it's like. I, I absolutely could. I'm so weird. I don't understand why I can do that, but yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, so it doesn't look like um, the, uh, they have specifically the Pokemon games, but I could have sworn that they did something where you could get like a, uh, a lot of them. I'd have to look it up and see what the exact details. You have to hack, you your, have to hack your game, switch. your mm -hmm. Switch. No. There's like, yes. Uh, yes. there's something on here. I just don't remember what exactly it is. There's like an official thing. Is there? Is there? Something. I don't know the exact details off the top of my head. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think it's a free thing for the Pokemon games. Yeah. Because, yeah. why would they make it easy? But, um, yeah, it's whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll look at, uh, I'll look into it because I know that, uh, they did something with Pokemon where you could actually get the entire, uh, where you get like a whole bunch of it onto your system, but I don't know. It's not the end of the world. I'll take a look at it later. Um, but hey, I, I have like uh, I can now play Game Boy games and some Game Boy Advance games. Not exactly certain which games are on here, but. <laughs> I swear to you. I swear to you. Anyway, anyway, finish this. Yeah, that's probably good. Uh, this is probably a good stopping point. Um, but anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this nerd chat. Um, I've been Electro Ninja. He's been Jack. He's been Joker. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new background, and we will see you guys next time. But on. But on. But on.